Coming to you live from the beautiful Pittsburgh Improv for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hedgeclam. <laughs> Pittsburgh, come on, make some fucking noise. There you go. That's a city made of goddamn steel right there. Brian Redband's here, what ladies up, and guys? gentlemen. Wow. This is exciting. Kill Tony, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The bunch of real goddamn Americans in this room. You guys excited to be here or what? This is, uh, this is fun. We're in Pittsburgh. Do you want to kill Tony here? Is our first kill Tony here? Yeah, I th- uh, second second. One, yeah. We did one a long time ago with You're the right. arcade bar or something oh, like that, right? right? Arcade bar. Yeah, that oh, was yeah. awesome. You were there, weren't you? No. Fucking Amy Schumer just in the audience yeah. over here wearing a backwards hat. Works every time. Uh, good to be here. Red Band and I are here. We go on the road. We do these things. We do Kill Tony's. We also do stand-up comedy. Brian Red Band's headlining the American Comedy Company in San Diego on August 17th. And I'm headlining uh, Miami, Florida in a, just a couple weeks. Lucky. Uh, yeah, Miami, Florida, and uh, Palm Beach, That's Florida great. in September. Nice. Yeah, big weekends at the Improvs there. And we take uh, Kill Tony not only here tonight, but also Fort Wayne, Indiana uh, next week. And uh, Kill Tony Mania coming right around the corner, right. San Francisco and Sacramento. Yeah. Big announcement coming this Monday on the episode with, for the first time ever, Eddie Bravo and Sam Tripoli, a very... Yeah conspiracy filled episode oh. hopefully the jokes fall flatter than the earth <laughs> according to hopefully. Eddie Bravo I'm going to do that one on Monday too and it's going to work watch you're going to say whoa I saw him do that live first he tested it in Pittsburgh uh, we do this all the time so much fun we're so excited to be here in Pittsburgh you guys have a lot of fucking energy we're excited getting off to a little bit of a late start but you know all the fun stuff happens late in life right I like the energy in this room. As you could tell uh, by all of our road episodes and by how large this table is, we are going guestless tonight. Uh, Perhaps, uh, yes, anyway. um, And, uh, but uh, with all great guestless episodes with a stage that permits with size, we do have a band with us here tonight. They're just unbelievable. I don't know. Are you guys a fan of the Kill Tony podcast at all? Oh. I thought maybe there were just randoms that got lost yeah. around Picklesburg and stumbled in here. Picklesburg. Yeah, Picklesburg. I know all about it. I've known about it for years. Isn't that the bridge with all the pickles? Yeah, yeah. It's the bridge. The uh, Roberto Clemente the Third Bridge. Mm. Uh, there's a bunch of fucking pickles and white people. Yeah. Um, The band is the best damn band in the land. Every single episode, they commit to being different characters. We never know what they're going to be. There's a tiny green room that we were just in, but that green room has its own bathroom. These two have been in the bathroom for at least the last 15 minutes together. (laughs) A very tiny bathroom getting ready. We have no idea what they're going to be. Perhaps it's the return of one of uh, their uh, famous characters, like last night in Philadelphia. By the way, uh, amazing time last night in uh, Philadelphia. Yeah, well, we're... (laughs) The Fillmore Theater. I know, no, but what were they dressed? They as? were Shanks. That's and, right. Uh, it was that. Shanks, the prisoner, and Big Panic, the prisoner. That theater was amazing. Uh, uh, but sometimes the new characters are, uh, make a huge debut. Sometimes it's the return of a famous one. Let's all find out together, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you the best damn band in the land, the Kill Tony Band, Jeremiah Watkins and Joelberg Joel Jimenez. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa! Wait, what? Wow, this is crazy. Security guards, oh my God. Whoa, he's patting us down. 
This is mind-boggling. Keep that in the bathroom. Oh, my God. Wow. Am I clear? Am I good to go? Wow. Thank you. This is frightening. These are clearly security guards. Either or that or the creators of South Park. I'm not exactly <laughs> sure. This is very exciting. Hello, uh, security guard. How are you today? Good to be here. Welcome to the show. Let me stall for time. Hey, how you doing? My name's Tevin. What? Wait, that's what you sound like? You're a security guard? Yeah, step back, mister. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, adorable. Tevin with a T? Yeah. Oh, wow. My goodness. Well, welcome to the show. I might have gotten hit in the eye recently. It's still healing. Did you? It looks like you did. Did you? What happened? In I the... got assaulted at a Ziggy Marley concert. Oh, my God. Wow. Well, welcome to the show, Tevin. And clearly back here we have what appears to be uh, Joelberg Joel Jimenez in a, <laughs> in a baseball cap. Uh, <laughs> my goodness, a security baseball cap. We got a guy talking shit up here. Guy oh. talking shit. <laughs> My good, and you have the you have your normal voice. He's still doing it. <laughs> you only gonna talk into that? We should have hooked that up to an actual microphone. You want a cavity search, young man? <laughs> oh, wow, goodness, great. Whoa, okay. You got those Spread fucking. Em. You got those real OJ gloves on tonight, guys. Right, yeah. This is exciting. So this is the debut of security guards. We've never seen these guys. Are you excited about this, Pittsburgh? We might need them. We might need them up here. Anything can happen on this show. Because right here, I have a bucket of goddamn strangers' names. <laughs> what is that bucket? Look at this thing. It's the Picklesburg bucket <laughs> of uh, destiny with a real shovel. I might have to dig some people out by the actual shovel here tonight. Uh, a bunch of people signed up. Sometimes it's an amazing local comedian in the bucket. Sometimes it's somebody's first time. Every once in a fucking horrible while, some asshole let his wife sign up for the show, and she has no idea what the fuck it is. Yeah, normally, they, normally they're they're bigger ladies. Uh, uh, that part makes me sad because I look around and all the chubby ladies are just looking at me like that. What the fuck was that supposed to mean? It's like little do they know that I like them thick. You know what I mean? Uh, so uh, if I pull your name out of the bucket, you know how it works. You get to do a little bit of stand-up comedy, and then we go through a whole interview process. I try to fucking find out more about you and what makes you interesting. But you get uninterrupted 60 seconds up here. You know your time is up and you're the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry, shady side bear. Yeah. Is that the right reference? Let's start the fucking show! Kill Tony, live from Pittsburgh. There's only one way up here, people. Very important. It's right here. Right here in the middle of this. Do not try to come up that ramp or this side. Right here. You walk around and right there. You guys got it? Let's start this fucking show. The security guards will guide you. Clearly, we have young Howard Stern here to uh, direct you right in. To he, he will check your private parts. <laughs> Yo, WNBC. Oh, yeah. WNBC. Baba boo yeah. All right, pull the name out of the bucket. Your first comedian getting an uninterrupted 60 seconds tonight goes by the name of Matthew Nova. Here we fucking <laughs> go with Matthew motherfucking Nova. No, Matthew, apply common sense <laughs> that <laughs> way. Uh, I need boatloads of common sense from you people tonight. Yeah. Right then, Matthew was coming from that corner. He was about to go that direction. <laughs> See what I mean? I need boatloads. I need. If you are pre-gaming at Picklesburg today, I need you to drink a water. Here he comes. Here comes Matthew Nova, ladies and gentlemen. Pittsburgh, show him some love. Listen. I don't want to sound racist, but hot dogs are delicious. Now, the only thing about hot dogs is they tend to make you a little uh, gassy. I, uh, I farted in the car on the way over here, and I just realized I forgot to leave a window down, so I don't know. I'll probably just go ahead and abandon that car. 
Before it's on our bad, uh, I used to date this girl, and one time we were having sex and she farted on my balls. And uh, it was kind of nice, you know? It was like she was blowing on them for luck. <laughs> and they say romance is dead. That's all I got to. Oh, yeah, there you go. One minute from Matthew Nova. Is that really one minute? Is that exactly one minute? That was it. You did 58 seconds, and Neat. the little cat came in when they started clapping after you said, that's my time. So How are you, buddy? Way. I How's it just, going? I've never come been here, here come before. Come here, relax, stop talking. Stand right there, face the audience. Not that close, not that close. Right there. And you fucking stand right there like a goddamn gentleman. There you go. Yeah, sure, right that there. That makes sense. I like I thought that. that was for the stand. What the fuck did I tell you about talking, dude? Hey. The fuck did I tell you, you fucking ginger Pee Wee uh, Herman looking <laughs> motherfucker? I'm sorry. There you go. You're damn right. You're sorry. Matthew, you look like the kind of guy that only has one pillow. I do, yeah, I do. Wow. Actually. What? Say it's, it again. Look at them and tell them. I only have one pillow. You're damn fucking it's also, right. It's in a plaid pillowcase, too. It's in a plaid pillowcase? Yeah. It's fuck not even yeah. a thing. It, it's My really God. Just, oh, All right. Oh. Very good, Matthew. You always say a little bit too much. Uh, I'm going to check in with Tevin over there. Yeah, when you when you were at the tattoo parlor, uh, did you also say I I don't mean to sound racist, but I'm gonna need these two neck tattoos. <laughs> Is that what you said? Yeah, I'll, I'll give you short. Yeah. So you have a lip piercing too. You're an yeah. Interesting guy. How old are you? I'm uh, 36. 36 years old, and that was your first time doing stand up. No, I've been doing it for about uh, four months. Four months. Fucking awesome. All of it here. You're a real Pittsburgh guy, born and raised? Uh, no, I live in Ohio. Uh, oh. This is actually my first time trying uh, comedy up here. Oh, Ohio, very so. fucking cool. What part of Ohio? Uh, shady side. Shady side? Yeah, shady side. <laughs> What's shady side? It's, uh, it's Everything about past, him. Uh, <laughs> just about 15 minutes outside of Wheeling. It's uh, just a little Wheeling. town. It's like it's a village. Oh, that's crazy. Shady side is the gay part of Pittsburgh. Did you know that? <laughs> I thought you were actually talking about Shady Side, Ohio. I Hell no, no I wasn't. I sort of look- Not in his town. <laughs> no. Heck no. You look, only you, one look like, uh, you look like if Gollum became an old Navy model. <laughs> wow, that is true. You do look like if Gollum became an old Navy model. What do you do for work, Matthew? Uh, I work at a, uh, a hospital in the laundry department. Wow, you have killed their patients before. <laughs> If so it's just it, poop and blood, right? Like that's wow. yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's pretty fucking gross. I, I don't mean to sound racist, but I love to keep the sheets really white. <laughs> he. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! He's Joel Berging up already. Let's check in with Tevin over there. Yeah, he he looks like Ron Howard directed American History X. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow! You look like Louis C. K. 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 Oh shit! Oh my god! He's unstoppable. <laughs> he has his own lighting change. It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh my god, Matthew, what do you think you look like? Roast yourself for Christ's sake! I I don't think I can top that. You're damn right, Roast. but I want to see you try. I I got all gussied up in the mirror, and I was like, I don't think they got anything to say yeah. to me. I was fucking <laughs> wrong. You were wrong. So what was racist about the hot dog thing? I don't get it. Yeah. It was just a dumb thing I said to myself, and it made me laugh out loud. It made you laugh it's, out loud? Yeah, but I, th- I think of a lot of just dumb shit. You and laugh out loud a lot? Yeah. LOL, a little bit. So like you were like, you said it out loud to yourself. So you, what, 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 how I, did was, you, I was doing dishes, and I just said it. And you I were doing laughing. dishes, and you're like, man, I don't want to sound racist, but hot dogs... Ha 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 Just doing the dishes, laughing out loud. I yeah. should write that down. So that, just driving in the car. I just say dumb shit out loud. And were you, you were washing dishes while driving your car. Yeah, it's, it's either one of the two. Whenever I usually say it, right. apparently up here too. But uh huh. So uh, what? How, what's the population like in Shady Side, Ohio? It's it's small. It's, it used to be considered a town, but I think it got bumped down to a village. So wow. it's it's tiny. <laughs> you live in a village. What what what's your uh, dating life like out there? Uh, <laughs> my, <laughs> I'm actually I'm I'm married. You're married. Yeah. Oh shit! How long you been married for? Uh, eleven years this month. Actually. Wow, eleven years this month. She must have put on a lot of weight by now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Eleven years. So we, have a sec- we have a security issue. There's 13 fat women storming the <laughs> stage right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, so did she put on a lot of weight in 11 years? No, actually, she lost a lot of weight recently. Wow. Yeah. You like them big, huh? She, they, <laughs> even, <laughs> she was... Abortions, she to don't, begin with, abortions don't count as losing weight. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Wow. This place has please been secured. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. So uh, when you say she lost a lot of weight, like how much weight are we talking about? If you had to how guess. How much weight did she lose? Yeah, just like circus guess. Uh, <laughs> Step right I, up. Let me guess how much weight you lost here. Yeah. Go ahead. Just like five, ten pounds. Ooh, five she, she, she changed her diet and just been trying to eat better Wait, stuff. That's you know, a lot of weight. Like, how old is she? <laughs> five? <laughs> 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 yeah. Brian gains and loses five to ten pounds yeah, every day. That's a shit. Um, so that's cool. You guys have kids or anything like that? No, no kids. What's your pull out method? Uh, I'm fixed. Oh, you're completely fixed. Yeah. Look at that. My God. When did you get that done? Uh, when you found out that your redheaded wow. gene could carry on to another generation? Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. Yeah. I, I can't, it, was a while, it was a long time ago. Long time ago? Uh, Before you five met her? Five years ago, six years ago? Oh, five no, we've been six married years. for a while, but wow. we just... It's fun. Did you get... Let me ask you this. Did you get fixed because you had to get a little, uh, you know, the old vacuum seal the deal? Oh no! Yeah, but abort, we were always abort. paranoid. We right. talked about it. we never just just never wanted. Kids. But you always have pulled out regardless. Or once no, it you, was uh, once you got fixed. It's just fucking cream pie city, right? <laughs> That's where the five or ten pounds is coming from. It's just dried up cum that just stays God. in there like a goddamn fucking. You gotta get her a scoop, man. Yeah, little fucking little one of these fucking v- yeah. vagina shovels right here. Little fucking uh, what do they call that? A uh, the scraping thing that they do. Uh, what's Which that called? Pap smear. Pap, Pap smear. smear. Yes, thank you, ladies. Does I she, like to go for the ladies sometimes for my punchlines. Does she wash it out after, or does she keep it in there for a while? And like every time she sits down, it sounds like potato chips or something. I, like oh that. my god! <laughs> oh my god! Red ban. What the fuck, I, I usually don't finish Sounds inside. Like it, it's just easier just to Potato do Potato chips? What is wrong with Potato you? Chips. All right. So uh, what's oh. something crazy about you we'd be surprised to know about you or your life or anything? Uh, I don't do I, mean, I used to write uh, a lot of books. Yeah, I used to write, write a lot of books? Yeah. Oh, my God. And uh, I had a... Uh, Coloring books? <laughs> What type of books? They were like uh, like uh, horror stories and stuff like that. Wow. And, uh, I ha- actually had Are a publisher. S- I lost. Were contact you the monster in all of that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was I'm the ho- under your bed? Was the whore your wife? <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, boy, again, sometimes you take chances. You don't know what's gonna happen. Just kidding. Your wife's not a whore. See, when I say it like but, that, it makes it sound like she is, though. Yeah. Oh, your wife's totally not a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Leaning over the table. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you seem like the kind of guy that would let a black guy fuck your wife. Is this true? I, I never thought about it, but oh hell yeah, Picklesburg tonight. <laughs> so, someone just pointed at their black friend right there. Could be the guy. All right. Well, Matthew, so nice to meet you. How long is the drive back to Shady Side? Uh, it's about. Two hours, I think. Well, we appreciate like you making the fucking trick. Your uh, trip, your debut here, uh, comedy debut here in Pennsylvania, and uh, congratulations on being right. pulled first. Thanks for starting right, the show, lot, guys. Matthew Nova, ladies and gentlemen. There he goes. Looks like he uh, looks like he cooks his hot dogs over a uh, burning cross. There's a guy eating a hot dog right next to Jeremiah. That's I think. true. <laughs> Look at that racist these people, shit. These, these, it's like, uh, they, you know, here in Pittsburgh, a uh, hot dog is considered filet mignon. <laughs> <laughs> Pulled another name out. Make some noise for Cuba S. Cuba. Hey. Cuba S. Oh, shit. There was a big delay in him getting up. That's normally not a good yeah, sign. Yeah, not good. He was like, oh, shit, what have I done? Yeah. We'll see what happens here. How many of you like it when comedians do good on this show? How many of you like it when comedians do bad on this show? 
Wow. Right, look. It looks like it's a win-win situation for Kuba S, everybody. How's everyone doing? I was standing in front of Improv tonight and some guy was trying to bomb a smoke from me. And I haven't smoked since I was 12 years old. Luckily, I still had a pack on me. <laughs> My mom caught me smoking when I was 12 years old. She sat me down at the dinner room table and she said, you'll finish every single cigarette in the household. At that time I knew, if my mom ever catches me masturbating, <laughs> she's gonna make me finish off everyone. <laughs> in the household. I know what you're thinking, ma'am. Yes, my dad is that tall. Well, he's about my height, but his genitals are on his chest. <laughs> it's because we grew up in Chernobyl. <laughs> wow, I love it. Kuba. Fuck yeah, dude. I like that. The punchline came at the same time as the cat, but I loved it. It was Chernobyl, and that all made sense and was funny. I like your style. First question, are you a robot? I started smoking when I was 12. Uh, you are, you are, you're good at it, but you're definitely covering up a thick accent of some kind. I could tell that you really you know, take, take a beat before every word. I can hear it. Yeah. I had to jerk off my family. <laughs> what do you mean I sound like a robot? I am from Russia. I speak perfect American English. Oh, my 12. Part. My parents told Say 12 me. again for me. 12. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking robot. You're a fucking robot. <laughs> beep, boop, beep, boop. He's a fucking robot. All right. Um, <laughs> hey, let's do it one more time. Take it for the dub. You're a fucking... All right. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so are you a robot? Uh... I am a Russian robot. I am, I am programmed to admit the truth when asked if I'm a robot. I am 80% Polish, 20% robot. Oh, wow. 80% Polish, 20% robot. So we know where the brains come from. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's so cool. You know who Joanna Janjacek is? Uh, who? Joanna Janjacek. Computing, yeah, computing. <laughs> What? what? Baba Yaga? Is, all right. Uh, no, she's a Polish uh, athlete. She's a very, you're a fucking robot. I'm gonna break you. You're a fucking robot. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, Tevin. Tevin, relax. Can we get some security for this security? Um, <laughs> oh, you guys are all friends in that business, huh? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's Teddy. <laughs> His nickname is Hot Dog. Uh, hey. I love it. Uh, so, Kuba, how long you been doing stand-up? Since I was 12 years old. Since I was 12. <laughs> the only number I have programmed is 12 into my system because I'm a fucking robot. All right. Um, since you were 12, is that true? No, I started in uh, November. In November. Very good. And what made you want to start stand-up comedy? I wanted to show my friends that I'm better than them. <laughs> you wanted to show your friends that you're better than them? That is as fucking, that is as fucking Polish as it gets right there. A Polish competitive edge. Uh, how long have you been in Pittsburgh? What are you doing here? I am here to hack your election system. <laughs> well, we did good in 2016, so I decided to stay for 2020. <laughs> That's very funny, Cuba. Wow, Son of a half bitch. the room really liked it, and the other half didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's fun. Um, so really, how long have you been in Pittsburgh? Uh, I went to school in West Virginia and moved to Pittsburgh about 2016. Why West Virginia? You came from Poland to go to West Virginia? That's like fucking just uh, taking a step half backwards. Yeah. I mean... You're like, I'm going to get away with, the, with this place that has a reputation for being stupid. I must go to one place and one place only, West Virginia. 
were you stalking your sister or something? Or? <laughs> no, um, you have to be from West Virginia to stalk your sister. Maybe she in West lives there. <laughs> yeah, doesn't work if he's from <laughs> Poland. Yes, you know those wacky ancestral Polacks yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't just start fucking your sister when you move to West yeah, Virginia. Immediately. Hey, sis, what do you say we take a vacay to maybe like I don't know uh, West Virginia? <laughs> Wanna fuck? All right. Uh, so, Cuba, why West Virginia? Um, I heard that they have beautiful mountain ranges. <laughs> no, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> you sound ridiculous to me. I love it. No, so you're good. My parents are huge Catholics and they wanted to punish me, so they sent me to oh, wow. Jesuit school. Jesuit school? Oh my God. What is like that I even? Have like, I haven't been molested enough as a child. You were? No, you weren't. When I was 12. 12, 12, 12, 12. Uh, let's check in with Tevin over there. Yeah, uh, so, uh, Kuba, you've heard Tony uh, do his impression of you many times. I think everybody would like to hear your impression of Tony. Oh, God damn it. Oh, Tevin. Oh, jeez. You, you always want to give these people what they want, huh? All right, here let's uh, let's just let him do it. Let's okay. Let's hear your impression of me. I'm a fucking robot. I'm a fucking robot. I'm a fucking robot. You son of a bitch! What a twist! I'm a fucking robot. I'm a fuck. All right. Wow. Sakuba, so uh, what type of girls are you into? You into uh, like a uh, live ones? Live ones, yeah. Um, what uh, what ty- what's your favorite type? Uh, you know, like love, uh, American, would, Russian. Like I would wh- love to have have Asian babies. Wow! I would love to have Asian babies. Have robot, have Asian. Half what? Have robot. Half robot. 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 Uh, half robot, half Asian. Fuck yeah, that'd be an interesting uh, conundrum. Probably a great cook though. Um, hard worker. Yes, hard worker. Uh, so how old were you when you moved to America? Uh, 18 years old. 18. So you learned English after that. How old are you now? <laughs> no, honestly, I did not know any English when I moved here. No, so. I know. That's what I'm saying. You were 18 and then you learned English. Uh, how old are you now? 26. 26. And here we are. Not bad for eight years English. You take your time. Most like Russian people, most fucking immigrants, you know what I'm talking about? Most of them like just try to learn fast and then they try to talk fast to keep up with us, but you actually take your time. It sounds a little robot but I can understand what the fuck you're saying. You know what I mean, Cuba? Uh, have, you, have you ever uh, been confused for Cuba Gooding Jr.? No, but Both I've, named Cuba. Uh, I've been asked if I know the band Cuba Stank. Cuba Stank? Yeah. Oh, my God. I know Cuba Stank. I got my dick sucked in a porta potty at a Hoobah Stank concert once. What? Oh my goodness, Tevin. Weren't, weren't you supposed to be working security at that show? Yeah, I had my buddy cover for me. <laughs> wow. So, Kuba, ha- have you, you have been with an American girl? Once. Once. My goodness, this was in West Virginia? Yes, she took my virginity. You lost your virginity in West Virginia. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> wow. Losing your virginity. (laughs) Wow. It is true, Tony. It is true. I fucked a pig. I fucked a pig. P-I-G, pig. Was it your sister's first time also? Oh, my God. (laughs) Brian. Red man. Unbelievable. So how'd that go down? Like, what were you doing? You were out at a movie or something like that? What was, this? What was the setup here? Paint no, the, the picture for I us. Mean, the, the first time we did it, I mean, I was, I kept on wondering if she's going to come, and then, I real, <laughs> and then I realized I never gave her the address. So. Oh, my God. Cuba, you son of a bitch. You sneaking jokes in on me, Cuba? First she doesn't come, then she'll never leave. <laughs> You are going to stay for 12 months. <laughs> All right, Cuba. Well, I mean, you're a fucking blast, dude. You, uh, you live here in Pittsburgh now? 
Yes, in Carnegie. Carnegie. Congratulations, dude, and, and good luck on your career as the voice of all GPSs forever. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we're going to be rooting for you. We're going to say we met that guy on Kill Tony in Pittsburgh. Uh, I was going to say if it all fails, you could always be Luis J. Gomez's stunt double. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, there he goes, uh, everybody. I mean, you're, you're a funny dude. You fucking had a great set. Mr. You, Hinchcliffe, can I plug a show? Uh, what, what, what do you want to plug? Sure. Tomorrow. Yeah. Still sitting in Pro Theater at Wait, tomorrow? Yeah. Fuck you, dude. I have two stand up shows here tomorrow. You get the fuck out of here. There he goes, Kuba S. Is it a repeating show? What do you do it monthly? You do it monthly? Weekly, just yeah, I'm not gonna plug your show. <laughs> You're going up against me, dude. Good fucking luck. How many of you guys are coming to see one of my two stand-up shows tomorrow night? Oh, okay. Well, geez. Uh, I mean, fine. Go see Kuba, you assholes. Oh my God. Like, uh, we like your podcast. Um, <laughs> your prepared material that's not right off the top of your head, not so much. Bunch of assholes here in Pittsburgh. <laughs> All right. Hey. Put your hands together for your next comedian, Jacob Dempsey. Jacob Dempsey. Oh. Wow. Look at this. Here he comes. Got the long walk. Also Making took the wrong way, way to again. The stage. I could have just went right here. <laughs> Here he comes. Wow. Look at this fucking drink of water. Here he is, Jacob Dempsey, everybody. What's good, Pittsburgh? Does Michelob Ultra come in a combo pack with Virginia Slims and your trashy aunt? You know the one that comes to the cookout a six-pack deep with the 12-pack under her arm going, Baby, you want a beer? Of course I do. I'm fucking 11. Why is it the most homophobic fathers get their kids into wrestling? <laughs> I mean, it's nothing more than extreme cuddling. It's a thin piece of cloth, a lot of nuts to butts, but those same fathers are the ones every single Sunday are out there yelling like it's a religion. Stick him, Jimmy, stick him. Put him to his back. Get him. I mean, I'm a college All-American wrestler, but the best, you know, most thing I learned about it was that I'm really good at cuddling, and I'm a power top. <laughs> oh, I was just kidding. Uh, getting really tired of Tinder trying to throw in random dudes in recently. Go ahead. You want to finish it? Go yeah, ahead. I'm getting really tired of Tinder trying to throw in random dudes recently. Like, after 28 years, I'm going to look at Zach and be like, God damn, Zach, you are fucking hot. I bet you got a piece on you. I swiped right, though. We're kind of a thing. Thank you, guys. Hell yeah, Jacob Dempsey. I like your style, man. Fuck yeah. So let me ask you a question. If I put a straw in your milkshake, uh, and I drink your milkshake, okay. nothing. Forget it, uh, no, 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 Jacob. No, no, it's because you look like the guy from uh, There Will Be Blood, Daniel oh, Day-Lewis. Okay. <laughs> um, Fuck yeah, you are a big badass motherfucker. I really do believe you're uh, what, what, what type of what level wrestler were you? College All-American. God damn it. Holy shit. What weight class? Uh, All-American to 184, but I wrestled 97 most of the Oh my God, that's frightening. And uh, how long did you do that for? All since you were a kid? Uh, yeah, since I was four. Holy fucking shit. And is your dad uh, homophobic? No, but no, here. he's not. But it it, it it works. I mean, I'm always he's a wrestling coach, so I've been around him my whole life. So I've seen all the home. Oh, so he's clubs. gay? Yeah, of course. It's the opposite. No, the wrestling co in Pennsylvania, it's the football coaches that are gay. <laughs> I'm from I'm from West Virginia, though. Don't ever forget where Brian and I are from, you motherfuckers. suck our balls <laughs> fucking pedophile assholes making the whole Big Ten look bad you should be ashamed of your goddamn selves now back to the show um, so Jacob uh, this is so fun how old are you now I'm 28 28 years old you ever have to use your wrestling skills in like a fight anybody ever start shit with you or anything like that uh, when I used to bounce in Atlanta yes but I brew beer for a living now so most people just want to hang out oh. you wait you what I brew beer for a living. You brew beer? Oh, what, my IPA God. IPA or? 
All kinds. I mean, uh, right now I have a. I guess you're more like there will be bud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, smarter than it was funny, I guess. Uh, so you brew beer. You carry the kegs around like I'm a former wrestler. Yeah. Oh wow. Show okay. off all day. Is it pretty uh, big or is it just you brew it for friends or like? No, we have a brewery. It's in Charleston, West Virginia. Um, um, oh, have open. you ever ran into uh, my robot Russian friend? No. I would like to buy a we twelve stay away pack. From wheeling. <laughs> stay away from wheeling. Yeah. That's cool, Jacob. What do you like to do for fun? Tell us more about your uh, about your life when you're not brewing beer. Uh, First time doing stand. Have you been doing stand-up comedy? Been doing stand-up That's for great. A few years. Yeah. Few years. Fucking awesome, man. It was you great. Ever, you, you, ever dress, you ever dress up as sexy Santa Claus? <laughs> can later. What the? I didn't even understand what you said. I said I got lost later, in your eyes. Sorry. All right. My, my, my favorite part of his set was when uh, he was clearly joking about being a power top, and then he took a beat and he goes, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Like a gay guy was going to shoot up and be like, let's go. <laughs> uh, I mean, it was more of a power bottom. You misunderstood. Oh, I didn't get All that. All right, I don't want any problems. Sir. Wow, it's about I don't to want be. Any problems. Are you starting shit with this uh, all American wrestler? <laughs> All right. We have a gay biblical figure coming to the stage. <laughs> wow. Uh, so Jacob, tell us more about you. What do you do for? Uh, you do the brewing of beer for a living? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So uh, what about what about hobbies? Anything else about you? What else about your life? Uh, most of the time recently has been spent with summertime. We go to festivals every week weekend. So beer festivals, having to deal with a lot of drunk moms trying to put their daughters off on me. Oh shit! Hell yeah! Oh, You're that sing- must be rough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hard life. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck my daughter, please. Yeah, but their daughters are never attractive. I know. They're still in West Virginia. I know. If they were, if they were attractive, they wouldn't be hanging out with their moms at beer festivals. You know what I'm saying? Precisely. It's like, oh god, always, always ugly girl problems. Mom wants to take me to another beer festival. All right. Uh, so you're single? No, my girlfriend's actually out here. Oh shit! Wow. How how drunk was her mom when she pushed her on you? <laughs> Where'd you meet her at? Uh, high school. Wow, high school. Damn, was she like the cheerleader or something like that? Or like, I mean, you were I mean, the we all-American. We just started dating again. So we just oh. started dating. We didn't date in high school. Oh, just okay. Read that up later okay. In life. How long? How recent was the starting of dating? Uh, a few months. Okay, so you guys were friends, and then what? You were at a party one night or something like that, or did you just go on a date? You asked her out. You're like, hey, you want to go out just as friends? You know. Uh, Tinder. You know. Wow. So you found her on Tinder. You're like, hey, remember wow. me? I'm the all-American <laughs> college wrestler. You wouldn't happen to be available, would you? And she's just drowning in her own pussy juice. It's like. Blah, 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 blah. She responds the next day. She's like, sorry, my phone got soaked. So I had to put it in rice. Before I could text you back, Jacob Dempsey. Goddamn fucking statue of a man. I bet you have one of those little Greek statue penises, right? Tiny. Hell yeah, you're an all-American wrestler, and that's a, <laughs> that thing's just pinned to you for life. Wow, it's so fun, Jacob. So uh, when you uh, when you hit her up on Tinder that first date, did you guys hook up? No, actually not. No, you uh, took your time. Yeah. What a gentleman. Does yeah. the carpet match the drapes? Do you have a gigantic beard gigantic on your ball sack? Bush. Yeah. Yeah. I do. You just but let I it shaved it up here, uh, just only. Day. Right. Right. No happy trail. No. Because no, you no. don't, yeah. That's none of that. Weird. It's like a poker face. Yeah. <laughs> when you, uh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> what the hell? I was trying to think of a way to like, don't, don't show them that you're uh, happy. I don't know. It's like, uh, it doesn't work. Anyway, um, that's fun. What part of town do you live in? I actually live in uh, Charleston, West Virginia. Oh, Charleston, West Virginia. So you made a trip up here to be here. Yeah. How long of a drive is that? Uh, well, had, we had left from Huntington, so about five hours. Wow, five, five hours you guys right. drove. That is so fucking cool. Thank you so much for signing up. Great performance, great interview. Jacob Dempsey, everybody. How fucking cool is this? All-American wrestler. What college, Jacob? Uh, Life University in Georgia. Hell yeah. So, uh, right outside Atlanta. Fuck yeah, that's one of the best community colleges anywhere. No Columbus yeah. State. 
There he goes. Daniel Gay Lewis, everybody. Went back to his seat. Yeah. All right. I tried to keep shoehorning that. There will be blood joke in there, but uh, it's coming back to fire. At me. All right, here we go. Let's keep it going. You guys having fun out there? Make some noise for your next comedian. He goes by the name of Dylan Lines. Dylan Lines. Here we go. He's got a steady walk. He's high-fiving people on the way to the stage. Come on, Dylan. Keep your focus, buddy. Here we go. Here he comes. How about a hand for the band? Killing it tonight. Always new songs. Just incredible. Hell yeah. Here he is, Dylan Lines, everybody. Last guy was tall or something. Jesus. What's going on, guys? Um, so I've already learned that uh, comedy is actually really hard because uh, I tried to make a, a clean set to go on America's Got Talent, and I got on the show, but I didn't get the golden buzzard or I didn't get passed through. Uh, the only thing I got out of that experience was uh, sexually assaulted backstage by Simon Cowell. <laughs> I wish I was lying. Um, because and the worst part about it was when, I, when he cornered me in the back and he started fondling me, fondling me, I was like in a shock. I couldn't move. And he was really condescending the whole time. He was just like, you are a worthless piece of garbage. And I was just like, Jesus Christ. And then after it was all over, Heidi Klum came up to me and she was like, don't worry. He does this to everybody. You are excellent. Like, you're super great. I was like, get the fuck out of here, Heidi. What are you talking about? This is insane. And uh, so now I feel like I'm part of the Me Too movement, but I feel like that's strictly for women. So I'm trying to start a new movement called the Same Here Dude movement. It's just like, <laughs> thanks, guys. Wow, that goes fast. Finish it. Was there more? Oh, that was, that was pretty much it. I was just going to say, like, oh, he fondled you too. Be, same here, dude. Okay. <laughs> same dude instead of yeah. Me Too. There you go. Dylan Lines, everybody. Thank Hell you. yeah. So let's talk about it. Is that true? Uh, no, man, I'll be honest. I can't lie to you, Tony. <laughs> wow. I mean, I, I wasn't on America's Got Talent, but I did get fondled by Simon Cowell. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're, You're just, just kidding fossil. again. Yeah, no, I, okay. that didn't happen. So before, like, before this interview goes any further, Dylan, let me, just, let me just tell you, I don't know if you've seen the show before, sorry. but during this interview part, when people lie, it's literally the worst. <laughs> uh, because then I'm we sorry, can't man. make I'm jokes, so and then you're the one stuck making jokes, which we just saw how that goes. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that's a good point. So yeah, just man. answer honestly about everything and yeah, let, the, right. let, let, your, let your insecurities go and let the... S- I'm actually shivering right now. I'm not even that nervous, but I've been cold for the last half hour. I feel like a pussy. Uh, I know. You're 75 pounds. I mean, what the fuck do <laughs> yeah. you expect to happen? That's a good point. That's being generous, man. Yeah, absolutely. Very generous. Uh, so Dylan, uh, how long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Uh, I've been... Well, actually not very long. I've been here three times. I've done the... Where? Uh, at this club. Yeah, on this stage, yep. yeah. I, I was here actually two days ago and did five minutes of an open mic and then um, the last two months before that. So I'm trying to keep it going every single month if I can come up with How old new are you? material. Uh, 28. 28. Congratulations. Yes, sir. You've, you're, you're, you're in the game. You're just About doing two it weeks one, ago. You said once a week you do it or once a month? Once a month, yeah. Why For, only uh, once a month? Um, pretty much. Well, I live two hours, two hours away. Where do you live? Uh, Dubois, Pennsylvania. Dubois. Um, what is that? Yeah. Where Jerry Sandusky's from? <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> he used to do boys too. You probably I will like. never stop making Sandusky jokes in Pennsylvania. If you're wondering, like, wow, he's made a lot tonight. You could be at Kill Tony 2034, live from Heinz Field, and you're gonna be like, man, I remember when Tony was already doing Sandusky jokes. He yeah. never stopped. Yeah, they kicked him out of town. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing Sandusky jokes for so long in PA that he might get to see me do one live sometime. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that was a good one. Um, so tell us something about you, Dylan. Go ahead. What do you do for work? Um, I work for AP Energy, so um, it, it's a company actually based out of Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. Uh-huh. Um, I, I have to go business to business and try to talk to managers and owners and like try to offer them fixed rates on their electric bill. It's kind of boring. But wow, not as boring as that answer. <laughs> I mean, yeah. when you put it like that. I try to spice it up. Heck I mean, yeah. it's, Tell us what's exciting about your life. What do you like to uh, What do you like to do for fun? What's something interesting about Dylan? Oh man, I watch Kill Tony all the fucking time, man. Yeah. Uh, 
Besides that, I mean, I'm really big into comedy. I'm like a nerd. Like I watch a lot of stand-up. Other than I've, other than yeah, yeah. stand-up and comedy um, and all that. I've been I've been skateboarding for like 13 years. Well, pretty much in Pennsylvania. Yeah. It's uh, I mean, in PA, it's like. Six do you have a nine. skateboard with you here tonight? I do in my in my trunk. Yeah, for sure. Uh, how far How far is your trunk from here? Not very far. Really? I literally had a not a dream, but like I envisioned, like if I ever got up and like skated to the club, I was like, man, I should like carry my board and try to like do the first. Like kickflip, kill yeah, kickflip you should. on stage. Yeah, Fuck. you should. I get it before? Not right now, but at, when you're done Maybe. with your set, you're going to go yes. get your skateboard, and then at the end of the show, you're going to come I'm up here and cl- kickflip so to send us home. Fuck yeah. How about that? I'm down. I hope I'm not as shaky, man. I have caught mouth, and I apologize for It's nervous. okay, Dylan. If you, if you fall, you just can't sue any of us. You understand? <laughs> or, yeah, the, or the club, the improv, or Death Squad, or Golden Hell Pony no. Productions. I promise, man. You agree? I A thousand promise. percent, right? <laughs> here, sign right here. Sign your fucking yep. little faggy name down. <laughs> just sign it right there. Just real tiny. Just that I have it. There you go. Yeah, the video right, camera's got right that here. perfect. There you go. That's enough. Sign That's right enough. There. Very good. Uh, I don't. I don't know much about documents, but that looks like one of the most unlegally binding wow. documents I've ever seen. <laughs> thank, thank you. That's right, probably the worst. Write your name on a I've napkin. <laughs> this is a contract. Thank you, thank, <laughs> thank you, Tevin. I, the, the joke was, the joke was supposed to be that we have serious documents over right. here. That's already it's the audio. Yeah, listening. but then I reversed it on you. It was a crazy thing. You can't <laughs> sue Jeremiah oh. Wonders LLC. I promise, though. man. No. <laughs> <laughs> because it doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, sorry. Wait, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Oh, sorry. I, I thought you said I can't sue Jeremiah. I won't sue him either. No, you should. No, you're not suing anybody. Uh, so uh, You can try to sue me because I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Before we let you go, Dylan, uh, tell us something embarrassing about you that you wouldn't want the public to know. Oh, if- man, I have something great. Well, there's a friend of mine that lives in Lawrenceville. He's not here tonight, but... Uh, well, that's probably good because he'd be pissed if I said Just this. Just fucking but. say it. Don't All right, me. sorry. So in tenth grade, uh, I, me and my one friend, Panny raided his mom's room. You only have one friend. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, so me and my one friend, Ethan Nelson, we panty raided our friend Tyler's room. Jeez, you don't have to say full names. Oh my bad. I hope he's watching. I, but uh, so long story short, like we found a, uh, we found his, his mom's dildo and. We took it and put it. <laughs> Where'd you put it? Well, two different places. First, we your put butt it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was his mom's actually pretty hot. I didn't do that though. I should probably should. How big was the but dildo? It was pretty. It was like bigger than I don't know, probably 12, 14 inches. Like it. So wow. Hot, not so a she, hot dog dildo. Not saying she used the whole thing, but My it had beads and yeah, it was like red. Uh, but we put it under his pillow, my friend's pillow, his mom's dildo under his pillow. And then three months later, it was December, and uh, I, we found it in the same spot because we went in there. They were like cooking food, and we went up there, and we put it in their Christmas tree. <laughs> and I swear to God, I'm, I swear to God, yeah, I'm, like, I'm not lying. And then what happened? Uh, his stepdad found it, and we weren't allowed back at his house for like a while. Wow! Like, Hell yeah! He knew she had it too. He's just like, "You guys are fucking assholes." Wow! So, <laughs> yeah. We I weren't allowed there for. Pro- uh, I mean, he he forgot about it after a couple of years. It felt like. My God. Tis yeah, the season to be jolly. <laughs> yeah, we're like, look at that ornament up there, and Tyler. He saw it first, and then he tried to get it down. His dad literally walked in, and was like, "What? Why do you have that in your hands?" So like. My friend was holding it as his stepdad walked in the room. Oh, like, my God. Oh, that, that, that's where, and was, this was like uh, right before Christmas? See, yeah, that's, when, was, that's when I twist the whole thing and I go, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> that's where you fucking shock the world. What you didn't know this whole time is that it was actually the stepdad's dildo, and that's why he kicked you out of the <laughs> yeah, house. Yeah, that's true. Oh my that's why God. it smelled like shit. Oh, I my never God. <laughs> Come on. Put it through a filter first, Brian. I mean, just smelled like shit. You could have at least put a little twist on it or something. <laughs> I mean, my God. My friend's mom also had a dildo, and we would, uh, he, would, he showed it to me. We would always, like, play with it and stuff. But Okay. All right. But well, I would always smell it. Like, I, yeah, I, okay. I was in love exactly. with my friend's mom. All yeah. right. Great. That's freaking hilarious, man. These stories <laughs> remind me of the time I fisted a girl at a fish concert. <laughs> yeah. All right, Dylan, go get your skateboard. They're going to let you back in. Make sure Dylan gets back in. He's going to do something stupid to end the show. Unless unless I come up with a better idea until then. Back to the fucking bucket we go. 
How about one more time for Dylan, everybody? He's a little nervous, dude. Let's see what happens here. Put your hands together for Andrew Ballier. Ballier. Andrew Ballier. Andrew Ballier. Here he comes. Wow. From that ledge, my friend. Andrew Ballier. Hello. Uh, so I have tinnitus, which is like, in my case, a really loud, constant ringing ear sensation in my right ear. And uh, it drowns out all the other high frequencies in my life. So like, I went camping with my wife, and she's like, we're being surrounded. Like, th there's something happening. There's like animals that are surrounding us, and she's like freaking out. And I'm just like, OK. And uh, it turns out, they're just bats. There's just bats flying around. I just can't hear the screeching, you know? So uh, it's a weird condition because no one else can really like tell that it's happening, and I can't really like describe it, and I don't even know like I don't really think about it because it's like white noise, but I only think about it when I like I only notice it when I think about it. So I don't actually know when it first happened, but I know like when I first noticed it. So it was also the highest I've ever been in my life. So we were driving around riding around with my buddies. Uh, I had just seen what appeared to be an alien mothership passing by overhead, and uh, I thought they were trying to talk to me. <laughs> what? Andrew Balliet. Wow. Balliet, you're right. Balliet. Balliet. I said Balliet. it right the first time. You're French. It's, it's yeah. French. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, Andrew, first question. Do you think you're at your ear doctor's appointment right now? the fuck is going on? Yeah, I went there. He didn't believe me. He was like... Love it. Not true. Wow. Thank you for taking a break from being on the Big Bang Theory to be here uh, tonight. He, Let's check in with Tevin. Yeah, he has this condition where he can't hear if people are laughing or not. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Andrew, how long have you been doing stand-up? First time. First, first time, time ever. First time. There we go. There it is. We're popping cherries up here. Heck yeah, man. How old are you, Andrew? 27. 27 years old. What do you do? I'm like a marketing analyst. Boring. You're from yeah. Pittsburgh? Born and raised? Uh, no, I was born in New Jersey, but yeah, I grew up in uh, Washington, Pennsylvania, south of Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. You ever been to Ryers, the world's largest <laughs> shoe store in Sharon, PA? Okay, Brian, that's literally, I mean, how you even come up with ideas. Like, how do I get people to turn off this podcast, damn it? Brian. We don't do. Uh, is what is wrong I, with you? Is that the sound you can't hear? Yes, it's the sound no one wants to hear, dude. What are you talking oh, about? I, yeah. It doesn't matter. And yes, he heard it. Is it still playing? No. Oh, God, that's it's the worst noise ever. Now. We don't. Ne we'll never need that again. If, if anyone ever has tinnitus again, let's not did do you, that. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you a fun fact about Washington, Pennsylvania? Oh, wow. I, you know, it's funny. I would love a fun fact about Washington, Pennsylvania. I love it when people actually help the interview process. Go right ahead, Andrew Ballier. Birthplace of Jerry Sandusky. Is it really? Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. He would... My goodness, he was born in Washington? Yep. My goodness. That there was is... a thing, there's actually a map you can look up, and it shows the most famous person from every town uh -huh. in America. Yeah. He's the most what do they have over America? his area? Just a little shower? <laughs> a shower head? Yeah. <laughs> ha has anyone ever told you you look like American Mr. Bean? <laughs> no. Mr. Jelly Bean, am I right? <laughs> you fuck. Uh, wow, that is so interesting. So it's the birthplace of Jerry Sandusky. Have you ever seen him? Not in person, no. no. Has he ever seen you? <laughs> yeah, it's hard to see him when he has you turned around facing the floor. Anyway. Uh, That's when the ringing started. <laughs> Hey, coach is here. I went to Penn State too. But you I was, did. I was you went to Penn old. State. I was too old for him. Oh my yeah. God! Uh, wow, oh, you were you're too. a Big Ten, huh? <laughs> my goodness, that is incredible. What'd you study at Penn State? Statistics. Statistics. More boring. 
Wow. Yeah. Especially, I mean, as a Penn State student, I mean, what a, what a sad thing to actually have to look at your statistics. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to think of me every Saturday when you guys play college football this year. Just remember when you see the Buckeyes score, like, oh, that's Tony He's still winning. <laughs> anyway, um, back to you. Um, so tell us uh, something interesting about... You, Andrew, you have weird parents or anything like that? You ever find your mom's dildo or anything? <laughs> Put it in a Christmas tree? Uh, no, my dad's an alcoholic, though. Your dad's an alcoholic? Yeah. Oh, dude. I just figured out the tinnitus thing. You got one of the old drunken dad slaps when you were a kid to the ears. <laughs> That's how it happens. <laughs> my goodness. Could be. Do you have scoliosis? Yeah. You do? I do, actually. Yeah. Did, do you know that there is a connection between having scoliosis and tinnitus? Did you know that? I've often wondered, but I did not know that. God, am I good. Yeah. No, it's true. My wife has uh, both scoliosis and tinnitus, so oh, I shit. learned about that. Yeah. I should probably see a doctor. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, you probably should. Wait. <laughs> you have self-diagnosed scoliosis? I uh, have <laughs> You know, I'm just a little bendy and curvy at times. My goodness. They told me about it. They didn't really give me much of a solution, though. You should see a chiropractor. I bet, I'll bet you three rounds at a chiropractor will, will change the way that you hear. Would you do that? And then, uh, if I do go to a chiropractor. You do? It hasn't helped. Yet. Oh, really? Oh, well, there you go. All right, <laughs> fuck that idea. How many times have you gone? More than three times? Yeah. Fuck. I've been going, yeah, I've been going pretty consistently, just hoping every time, you know, like... It, Right. Well, no. at least one out of you and your chiropractor's cracking something up. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's so stupid. So some, I just got booed on my own show. Ladies. For those of you listening to the podcast, I got booed by what was probably a fat lady in the back of the room <laughs> who's just been waiting for me to fuck up up here since my first reference of chubby women. Okay, I, Tony, we have eyes in the back. It's been confirmed. She is a fat girl. Wow, my goodness. She didn't say boo, she said moo. <laughs> Shut your bison ass up. Yeah. Hey. There is there has been a bison spotted in the back of the room. We are on Bison Watch 2019 here. Andrew, have you ever seen a bison before? Uh yeah. Where'd you see a bison at? Maybe you were driving uh, South from Park, Boise to Pennsylvania. South Park, Pennsylvania. That's true. You guys have bison here, it's right? True. Yeah, the, it's true. The buffalo. The American buffalo. Yeah. Bison, bison. Yes. Because they exist. We're, when you, yes, that's the right sound for that. Uh, so when you saw one, where were you? Driving? Down the street? Uh, no, I was oh. working as a park ranger. You were a park ranger? Yes. Did you have to wear the hat? Uh, it was like a cap. <laughs> county county park ranger wow South county park, park ranger Alabama you ever catch county anybody park. doing anything crazy out there as a park ranger you ever have to break anything up we didn't really have a lot of authority as park rangers yeah no. so, let's, just like so let's do a little do let's a little. let's do a little run through say i'm in the park and i'm just smoking a joint and you're being the park ranger and this is like how long ago were you the park ranger a couple years. A couple years ago. Couple years. So let's say I'm smoking a joint at a picnic table and you walk up. How does it go down? Go ahead. Hey, uh... <laughs> what are you about to do? Try to fuck me or something, dude? <laughs> Why are you dressed like that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you are not allowed to smoke <laughs> weed in the park. Were you aware of that, sir? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! I I didn't realize they had pussies at this park. Uh, look at this fucking. Are you aware that I will have to call the police on you, <laughs> <laughs> dude? You are the weirdest park goer I've ever seen in my life. Can I just say he's nailing his protocol right now? <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, fun times, dude! Congratulations, you uh, you had your first time ever on stage here tonight. At Kill Tony, live from the Pittsburgh Improv. Hell yeah. Andrew Ballier. All right, back to the bucket we go. Where it stops, no one knows. 
He's a fucking use robot. Use the shovel. He's a fucking... Should I use the shovel? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brian really wants me to do this. This is very exciting, people. <laughs> Anything can happen. He's at the beach. Here we go. Let's see what happens here. There's two. Oh, look at that. Your next comedian goes by the name of Jonas Notaro. Jonas Notaro. The bucket of Picklesburg has summoned you. Here he comes. He's got a steady pace. Jump back from that ledge, my friend. I wish that you, you would step back from that ledge, my friend. Here he is, Jonas Notaro. Make some noise for him, everyone. Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, we have any mother lovers out there? Yeah? Yeah, I've been getting uh, criticized for how I treat my mom on the phone. Yeah, like I guess good sons end the phone call with like, hey mom, love you, love you too. But whenever my mom says I love you, I just hang up. Because I don't like lying to my mother. <laughs> all right, all right, I love my mom. She asked me a lot of weird stuff though. Like she asked me the age old question. Jonas, if, if your friend jumped off a bridge, would you do it too? I was like, mom, no, I'm not dumb. If anything, I'm jumping first to like be a leader, not a follower. It's what the scouts would have wanted. <laughs> now, my mom, she wanted me to go on a water diet with her. It's a little weird. Uh, she wanted me to have 16 cups of water a day. I told my mom, like, we're already 70% water. She didn't care, though. Uh, I saw her later that day, and she walks up to me, and she's like, Jonas, had my 16 cups. I'd like to announce I'm now 80% water. Told her, Mom, that doesn't make any sense because you're at least 30% bullshit. <laughs> All right, thank you. Wow. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Jonas Nataro. This guy's got fucking Damn. mommy issues all the way, hey, huh? Really? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I was like, what should I bring? <laughs> I like your style, dude. You're a fucking like, super confident nerd type, huh? Thank you. Yeah, I try to pull it off. You don't give a fuck about your lisp. <laughs> It told mother, we're seventy percent water, mother. It, it, it might just be the way your jeans fit, but this is an ass Sandusky would <laughs> die for, dude. <laughs> Jesus. He does have a fucking big ass. I'll tell you that. Is it that good? Is that is there stuff in your pockets? Yeah, just a wallet. Just a wallet. Let me see that. Let me grab that ass real quick. Oh, Come God. here. Oh, Let me touch right. this fucking thing. No, there's nothing there. Here. No, feel, Joel. It's like made of like cotton. Is this consensual? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just do it. Do it. It's a fake I ass. Won't sue it's you. a fake ass. That's right. That's well. it, there's like it's like your jeans are like that. What are those fucking fashion ovas? Yeah. <laughs> you have fake <laughs> ass jeans, dude. <laughs> They're passed down from my dad. Are they passed oh. down? My father passed away and he passed <laughs> me down. Uh, is your dad dead? No, he's alive. He's alive. <laughs> we just uh, don't have money. That's all. What? We just didn't have a lot of money, so he's like. That's hey, right. Take, it's, take hard to, it's hard. It's hard for it? Jerry Sandusky to fuck you when you never take a shower. Ooh. <laughs> okay. You know what? Fuck you guys. Um, you guys really didn't have a lot of money. What do your parents do for work? Uh, well, whenever I was younger, my mom and dad they didn't have good jobs, but my dad's actually a radiologist now. Oh at wow! A hospital. Hell yeah! My mom just watches kids. They're uh, divorced. Oh okay. Yeah. How Where does she it? watch them? What park? <laughs> She just watch, She watches like six kids at a time. Like she'll take them all to the supermarket. It's really weird to watch. Wow. wow. She tries to get me to watch them. I'm like, nah. Wow. No, no, fuck that. that. Right? What, how old are you? I'm 22. 22. Hell yeah, dude. How long have you been doing stand up? Uh, about a year now. About a year. I love that. All here in Pittsburgh. Yep. Awesome. What do you do for a living? Uh, <laughs> well, I tried to go to college for marketing, but I didn't really like it. So right now I'm just doing like convenience store stuff at like the Frick Building downtown. <laughs> You thought sure. marketing was just buying groceries? <laughs> <laughs> the personal shopper. No. So now what do you do? I'm just like a convenience store, pretty much. Yeah, downtown? Yeah. A lot of crazy shit happened there? Uh, not really. Everybody's pretty nice in my building. I mean, outside, though, it's like fucking, you know, it's right. like Wood Street. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. What's your love life like? Uh, I have a girlfriend. I've been with her for about four years now. Wow, that's so cool. Where'd you meet her at? Uh, we met in high school through her brother. Oh, through her brother. You were yeah. fucking her brother, and <laughs> he's like, hey, you should I, I decided to make the switch, yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, what does she do? 
Um, she works at a bank, Citizens Bank. Citizens Bank. <laughs> Goddamn. Citizens Bank. I went to classes for this. It's right that by. Didn't fix anything. It's right by the uh, Caesar uh, Caesar uh, Clemente Bridge, right by Picklesburg. Citizens Pickles. Bank. They have a lot of different notes, and you can savings and <laughs> accounts. Um, wow, you uh, you <laughs> use your lisp in the bedroom. Do you ever take your? Do you ever dislodge your tongue and uh, eat her pussy? <laughs> I feel like you got to ask my girlfriend that question. Whoa, well, is, she, is she here? <laughs> yeah, she's here. You th- you think she'd want to come up here and answer that question? Uh, is she? I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, here she comes! Keep that music on. What's happening? This is so exciting. Oh, man. Holy shit. I might get in trouble. Jonas is the first comedian in the six-year history of the show whose ass I've touched, so I might get in trouble here. Nice. Hello. How are you, sweetheart? I am good. How are you? Aren't you you a little fucking cutie pie? (laughs) What lens crafters did you two meet at? (laughs) It's exciting. Look at these nerds up here. I want to watch you guys either fuck or play Magic the Gathering. I'm not sure. (laughs) My goodness. You guys are incredible. Thanks for putting down the video game controllers and coming out tonight. My God. This is incredible. My God. You guys must not... You guys must go out... What? How many fortnights a week do you guys... uh, How often do you guys get to make it out? I mean, jeez Louise. (laughs) All right. So, uh, how? Okay. First of all, welcome to the show. What's your name? My name's Allie. Hi, Allie. You're such a sweet girl. I like your <laughs> style. You're smiling. You're happy. You clearly have a good sense of humor. So let's talk about uh, how how is Jonas's, as he would call it, pussy eating. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be surprised. It's pretty good. Hold on. Wait a second. I want the I want the whole crowd to hear it. You say that again. I said you'd be surprised. He's a Pretty good. Really? Yeah. My yeah. goodness. <laughs> I, can't th- I think I know what you're going to do, yeah. We, yeah. Make him do it. Will you show us underneath this table? No. Red man. Maybe, maybe if you're willing, Jonas, maybe you would be like if you just face out in the audience uh, and you just pretend like, you know, like your wife is on, say, like the top bunk of a bunk bed with her legs hanging off. Right? So her pussy's right in front of your face. Like, oh, she's covering up. What, what, what is it? Smell bad? What are you covering up your nose for? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you're so shy. It took you seven seconds to get up here. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Can we get How a- many of you want to see what it's like when Jonas... Wait, yes. Uh... All right. Face out into that audience. Hold on. Wait. Let me come around. I want to get a better view at this. <laughs> Can, uh, I want to make sure I see it. You can, stand right here, just like that. Can we get uh, rain ponchos for the whole front row? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to be like Gallagher smashing watermelons up here. Uh, all right. Here he goes. He's got a pussy in front of him. <laughs> wow. Look at that. He doesn't even know how to give a cool handshake. You're so fun. You're a badass, Jonas. I could tell you have a good style. You were doing the alphabet. A little bit of trouble with your S's, I noticed. But uh, <laughs> was that pretty accurate? Is that what he does? I looking. No. I don't. Oh, all right. In that case, let's see how you eat her asshole. Come here. Uh, you haven't done that yet? Oh, my God. I don't go ass to mouth. Uh, uh, Tevin, would you be willing to show him how to eat an asshole? I, I was actually going to show uh, this audience how Tony Hinchcliffe eats pussy. Oh, okay. Wow. Here we go. <laughs> Very good. Okay, we got it. Yes, we got it. Very good. Yes. Very good. Wow. Some real... Cutting edge humor there, Jeremiah. We had no idea what you were going to do there. I was so shocked. I thought you were actually going to pretend like I was eating a vagina. I never would have guessed you would have turned it into a super gay simple joke. And then you have all these hacks going crazy because of all the fat lady and Sandusky jokes I did. You guys just couldn't wait to get your revenge. 
Was that accurate, Tony? Yeah, it's, uh, it's how I eat pussy. Uh, no, it's true. I, I take the vagina and I, uh, I, just, I just hit it with my hand in circles like that. <laughs> And then I uh, and then I, I take I take her legs and I spread them like that and I point her feet at me and I start giving her a foot oh. massage. I give her a foot rub like that. And then you <laughs> massage her butt. And then I go back and I move my head. I just bounce my head off of her pussy with my ah. <laughs> That's how I eat pussy. I don't know what else that could possibly even be confused for, because uh, that's just how you know we eat pussy where I'm from. Oh, in Youngstown, Ohio. Um, well, I mean, so much fun. What was your name again? Allie. Allie, you are so sweet. Thank you so much for coming up here. Uh, you're amazing. And how about, uh, how about one more time for Jonas, everybody? Fucking did it. Way to do it, bro. Hell yeah. He's got it. You got it. Nice to meet you, Allie. Fuck yeah. How sweet are they? Uh, my friend. All right, we're having fun out here. I'll fucking shovel it again. I'm not afraid to use this goddamn shovel. Here we are. Okay, here we go. Make some noise for Phil M. Phil M. Phil M. Phil M. Phil M. Isn't that what Jerry Sandusky used to do? Phil M. Here he is, Phil M, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, one more time, good and loud for Phil. Hey guys, uh, I'm Phil. Uh, I am as nervous as I was getting pulled over for my second DUI. Uh, that was not the best time, but uh, no, for real. I wrote down my jokes on a notepad. So uh, I have a little bit of an issue. I can't move half my face. I don't have Bell's palsy. Um, doctor said the nerve endings didn't connect on this side of my face. Uh, my mom doesn't really considered a fact she did cocaine when I was in her womb, but uh, <laughs> not my call. Um, yeah. A lot of people's first impression of me, maybe I'm gay, maybe I'm a retard, I'm okay with both. You know? um, <laughs> gay guys have a good chance with the women, retards don't have high expectations. Uh, <laughs> helps me out. Uh, yeah, yeah, so the hardest part of my life though, honestly, I'm vegan. Has anybody ever been vegan working in the kitchen? Good God, I've never seen more hate crime in all my life. Um, but hey, I do wear a leather belt and I am pro hunting, so. Heck yeah, fill in. Heck yeah. Bill M. Now let's get right into it. Uh, much like your, uh, much like your uh, face, I liked about half of your set. Um, I understand. You said you don't have Bell's palsy. I do not. No. That's a doctor said. I don't. Uh, it's just a nerve ending issue since you were a kid. That was what I told my life. Yeah, I used to do uh, go to Children's Hospital and they would do like scans on it, and they said the nerve endings never connected on the right, right. side of my face. Right. So when, since you were a little baby, you've had that it, this issue. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. I was gonna say you have a really shitty doctor, in, but I in, mean, in Philly they call that Liberty Bell's palsy. <laughs> hey, I like that little local reference. Um, so you don't have Bell's palsy, you just have the nerve endings. So it's just one of those things where, uh, and your mom, is that true? She was doing cocaine? She did it once, yeah. It was, uh, she, it was like the very early in pregnancy. She told right. me her friend was like, hey, you want to do a little bump? She snorted that little bump. And she was, uh, she was, <laughs> she was drinking, right? What was that? She was drinking during the pregnancy. Uh, yeah, and she smoked the whole time, too. That was one of my jokes. I didn't get smoked out, cigarettes. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow. The whole time. Welcome to Pittsburgh. Nine months, huh? <laughs> That's crazy. Nine months pregnant, she was still smoking? Of course, yeah. Oh, my God. That's fucking ballsy, dude. Yeah. So did two it, pregnancies. Did I was the second born. Two packs a day? No, no, no. Two pregnancies. I was the second born. Oh, so wow. So the first pregnancy as well, yes. Did you say ballsy or palsy? <laughs> no, it's ballsy. <laughs> we went from palsy to ballsy. Um, that's incredible. Yeah, it's always scary when you see a woman like nine months pregnant and she's smoking a cigarette and just the smoke comes out of her belly button. You oh. know what I mean? <laughs> wow. How would your mom do now? What Walmart does she work at? Uh, she's a dog groomer. She's a what? A dog groomer. A dog groomer? A dog groomer. Professional. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. You think she'd take better care of this fucking dog yeah. in front of me? You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, wow, that's interesting. Does she have some kind of like Dumb and Dumber van or something like that? Or she 
Dreams dogs. No, uh, Jose uh, <laughs> Kia Soul. Ah, Kia Soul. Heck yeah. What do you do for work, Phil? Uh, I work in breweries as well. Uh, I used to brew beer. Right now, I'm going to be managing a tap room. Oh, wow. My goodness. Really? What, uh, you, have, uh, you still you brew for a specific company? I was brewing for Reclamation Brewing. Uh-huh. Uh, it's in Butler. Uh, but right now, I'm working for Voodoo. They're opening up a tap room in New Kensington. Wow, look at that. There's some big fans of Voodoo. Heck yeah. Maybe you can get one of those uh, Voodoo dolls and, like, fix your face. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> fucking... We'll keep hoping. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I don't know. You drink a lot? Uh, yeah, I do. I do yeah. have... I did get pulled over for a second DUI, yeah. Second DUI? Yeah, yeah. My goodness. It's not a lie, yes. Wow. Uh, Which one did you like better? Uh, the first one, I got pulled over for weed. Second one, I was five drinks in. I honestly was probably right at that line, but... Right at the line. Then what happened? He smelled it? Uh, no, he pulled me over. and he Oh, he saw your off. face. He's like, dude, you're fucking yeah. wasted, bro. You're like, fuck. <laughs> fuck, this fucking sucks. I only had a couple of drinks, officer. You have to believe me. <laughs> fuck yeah, that's yeah. got to suck. You probably have gotten DUIs after not drinking. <laughs> like, I don't believe a thing you're saying, boy. You look shit-faced. In, in, in sixth grade, my uh, gym teacher asked me if I was chewing. Uh, right. A lot of people think I'm chewing That's tobacco. exactly. But, when uh, when yes. you first came up and did the turnaround, I'm like, oh, I can't believe this guy is fucking chewing tobacco in his mouth. <laughs> then you're all like, I don't have Bill's palsy. I'm yeah. like, oh, okay, cool, all right. It's not chewing tobacco. <laughs> Fuck yeah. What do you like to do for fun? You seem like uh, you probably have some cool white trash hobbies. You ever fucking... <laughs> You ever shoot birds with a BB gun or something like that? Or yeah. fucking, you know, see how far you can pee? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Some of these I love when you come up with. Yeah, I mean, I, I try to change it up sometimes, yeah. you know what I mean? Keep it fresh. Uh, I do enjoy drinking beer, but uh, honestly, I like to play disc golf. I like to do kayak, outdoor stuff. I fucking uh, pretty, love disc Pretty golf. average. Kayak, you know, we were just talking. Brian is a big fan of canoeing. canoeing yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's way better than kayaking. Yeah. Well, yeah. You need two people. Yeah. Yeah. There's also, no place to put your cooler in a kayak. He Come also on. loves gravy boats. <laughs> <laughs> gravy boats. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, all right. So, uh, so Phil, tell us, uh, tell us about what do you, uh, you have a love life? I just broke up in April. Four year relationship. Wow. Four years. Yeah. My goodness. Uh, wow. Um, how did that end? I was in Vermont with her. Uh, we were living at her parents' house. The agreement was one year, and we had to pay taxes. Her parents didn't particularly like me, so came back to Pittsburgh. Why didn't her parents like you? You seem uh, like such a nice guy. <laughs> uh, they're, they're a little more well-off uh, than I was, and I think they're worried I wasn't be able to financially s- stable. You know? Oh, jeez. They were a six-figure kind of family. Uh, a six-figure kind of family. Yeah, they can take care of you guys. What the fuck? <laughs> I was hoping so. I mean, It's kind of sad. Do you miss her? I mean... I mean, I, I truly love her, but uh, we communicate. I what was that? What was the thing you said about love? You said it so fast. <laughs> You're like, I didn't actually love her. I, I do love her. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, do love sure, her. But. Wow. Is that, is, that, is that hard? Does she have trouble with it, too, or has it been... She plays it pretty smooth, man. Uh, she, I don't know. You know. She plays it smooth. We'll what do you that. mean she plays it smooth? She what does that mean to you? keeps herself busy. Uh, she, she keeps herself busy. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, I got me a new man, and he black, and he got a fully operational face. <laughs> Heck yeah. She went from half face to black face. This is exciting. <laughs> wow. Have you ever thought about perhaps, you know, they're remaking a lot of these Batman movies. Have you thought about auditioning for the new Two-Face movie? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> perhaps. They'll be like, this guy got it on his first audition. No acting experience whatsoever. <laughs> We have a <laughs> Batman song. That's the that's gonna be the new Batman anthem right there. Batman! It's a throwback. Well, that's fucking awesome. For Phil. a vegan, you got a fat set of calves. Uh, Hell yeah, you do. What what goes on? You 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 got DUIs. So you must be walking a lot, yeah, huh? That, no. <laughs> 
Fuck yeah. When do you get your license back again? Well, I haven't been charged yet. I'm going to fight it. I got a loan out. I'm going to get an attorney and fight Hell it. Yeah. I can't lose my license. Hell um, yeah. I second DUI is like jail time. And I'm oh, yeah. How are you going to fight it? Though? <laughs> How are you going to fight it? I mean, didn't they give you like a blood test or a breathalyzer? They, they gave me a blood test, uh, but I don't. I, he pulled me over for crossing the yellow line. There's no chance I cross the yellow line. I think he targeted me because I had Vermont license plates on my car driving home late at night. Uh, you, you did just admit how many beers you had on a live well, yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your Honor, I'd like to present to you Exhibit A, the number one live podcast in the world. And even if they, even if they, whatever, you didn't go over the yellow line, they still tested you and you were drunk driving. True. Yeah, no, but we I think got if he it. wrongly pulls you over, the case gets thrown out. I mean, I'm going to pay a lawyer a lot of money to hopefully tell me that. Yeah, seems no, like a yeah, no I think we'll see what happens. <laughs> I think you could do it. Sometimes, you know, sometimes uh, you, uh, you have to look the eyes of justice in the face and, uh, and give it all you got, man. So sure. we wish you the best of luck. Congratulations on getting pulled out of the bucket. It was Thank nice you to meet much. you. There he goes, Phil M. <laughs> Let's go back to the bucket. Exciting, shovel time. Yeah. I'm digging deep. Look at all this. Look at, that. Look at all these. Look at all these fucking names. Good one. All right. Pick a good one. What do you think? How do you think this fucking thing works? Pick a good one. Ah, uh, let me be super strategic with this shovel. <laughs> okay, this looks fucking interesting as fuck. Triple C, ladies and gentlemen. Calvin Charles Calhoun. Wow, what a cool name. Calvin Charles Calhoun. Oh, shit. We know this guy. He's a star from Omaha, Nebraska. Was it Omaha? St. Louis. Omaha, right? It is the return second time ever. Calvin Charles Calhoun. Yeah, Pittsburgh Improv. I came a thousand miles this morning to be excited with you guys. <laughs> and I love your excitement. What I used to do for excitement, I was a bit of a dope fiend. And I would go on these crazy ass crime sprees. Now here's a lightweight example of something I did. I took a taxi cab and used it as my getaway vehicle for a liquor store I knocked over. That's a lightweight example. There was a, there was a, a police sketch of me on the front page of the Sioux City Journal. So I'm like, you know, they're never gonna catch me or something. I gotta, you know, I gotta find another pastime, something else to do for fun. So I go down and I tell the cops, I'm the guy you're looking for. I'm here to turn myself in. They laughed, told me to get fucking lost. They said I was an habitual confessor. <laughs> fucking embarrassing, really. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Calvin Charles Calhoun. <laughs> I love it. Let me, uh, let me remind you guys. Maybe you know, I, this guy got a big pop, and I fucking love that there's some diehard fans in this room that remember this guy as well as we do. Uh, Calvin Charles Calhoun was on the Omaha, am I right? Yes, It was yes. my birthday, June 8th, yeah, Omaha, Nebraska, and you day. got pulled out of the bucket, and um, we, you, had a, you had a fun set, and you were hilarious during the interview, but we found out that you had uh, spent some time in jail, that you had uh, attempted to murder someone via stabbing them, or at least that's what they charged you with. I swear on my balls, and I wasn't trying to kill him. And, but the jokes that you did during your 60-second set there were very much not about the type of actual life that you've lived. And our extreme advice to you, fun fact, in the history of the show, no one has had a longer time on stage. I believe it was 17 or 19 minutes or something than you, Calvin Charles Calhoun, in, on that Omaha episode. Because we kept finding out... Very good. We kept finding out more and more about your interesting backstory as it went on and we extremely recommended to you that you start interjecting that into your what was more of a jokey sort of cleaner different type of act and look at this 
It's literally been, it was June 8th. It is now fucking July 27th, not even two months later. And you have a brand new minute doing exactly that. Talking about being addicted to dope and using a taxi cab as a getaway car. Did that work a lot? The taxi well, cab? Only did, that night, I had to improvise. <laughs> All night long, it was... My worthless wheel man lost his fucking car keys. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's like good fellas, man. Samuel L. Jackson fell asleep yeah, I, in the I getaway car. I had other car. problems that night, too. You know. Say that I again? got away. I got away. You got away. With the cab driver. Yeah. Hell, yeah. He man. didn't know. He, no, he, he was didn't. unwitting. He didn't know. Hell, yeah. And when you got, when you got, when you, he didn't get a cut. When you got in the back seat of the taxi cab, was the guy uh, was the guy driving like, "Did you murder that man back there?" <laughs> it's a Pulp Fiction scene. Bruce Willis uses a taxi cab as a getaway car. Man. Yeah, after- yeah. I, I knew that wasn't unprecedented. <laughs> no, it's no, it's good. If you, if it if you really did that, that's that's fucking yours, dude. Hell yeah. And he didn't. He, and yeah, no, yeah. You're fine, Calvin Charles Calhoun. Yeah, we you're have our biggest security flag of the night up here on stage right now. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. So Calvin Charles, uh, remind us. Um, so how long did you? Uh, how long was your trip here today? Where'd I you? flew, so it uh, was. You flew from Omaha. No, Sioux City. Sioux City. That's in. Iowa. Iowa. Right. That's right. You flew from Iowa to Pittsburgh for this show. Yes. Wow, that is so fucking cool. That is so fucking cool. And you got pulled out of the bucket. Right after the guy fucking said, pull someone good, I pulled literally probably the only Kill Tony legend in the fucking room. How cool is that? I I got Kill Tony mania. I'm going out to Sacramento and San Francisco. Fuck yeah, dude. You bring that ass. What happened was my wife and I were supposed to go to Canada and Vermont in October. And I started talking about this here. She's like, no, we're going to, we're going to watch the leaves change. I'm like, fuck. I'm going, I'm going to California. Guess what she did? She booked everything. Wow. Hotels. You know, I got tickets. She flew me out here. She, wow. My God. It, that is so fucking cool. She, she booked a hotel, flew me out here, gave me her credit card. Your wife is awesome. I remember seeing her there, too. You give her that good old prison dick, don't you? That's what yeah. it is. You just keep fucking her. You just don't stop. I could tell you just you don't even slow down. You just keep coming. You don't even you he, don't even stop. He's even standing in the sex position right yeah, now. He's just always <laughs> You're good, Calvin. Don't change a thing. Uh, remind us, uh, what do you do for work? You have like a job or something that gets you through? I like to you know, I joke that my wife has two jobs. Oh, that's takes right. Good care of me. Yeah. She and does. Yeah. So you, you, no, you, I have a job. You I do have a, have a job. I work my ass off. I really, I got, oh man, I work like 50, 60 hour weeks. Yeah, you know? doing what? I, I work at a big cookie factory. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, it's yes. a corporate cookie factory, and I'm one of the Oompa Loompas there. Yeah. You should see us. We, we got to dress up, big rubber boots, and yellow apron, and red hat, and Take shovels and clean up gigantic piles of uh, chocolate. <laughs> Wait, what? Fuck yeah, I'm like an Oompa Loompa. Is there really piles of chocolate? Fuck, you wouldn't believe it. They got these giant tanks and they leak all over. And that is so fucking cool. That sounds like a dream job. Oh, fuck, I hate it. Um, yeah, let's check in with Tevin. I will <laughs> yeah, asking for a friend, are they hiring? And that friend is Red Pan. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. Have you ever seen a pile of dough this big before? We got we got a... <laughs> I love it. Uh, wow. How long have you worked at a cookie factory? It's three years now. Does every day do all your, like, do all your clothes like smell good and shit after that? Yeah, it's... They, uh, they try to uh, sell it uh, like, oh, it's the best place, the best smelling place you can work. Hell yeah. Fuck, I hate the place. You do? Fuck yeah. Man, you have a real chocolate chip on your shoulder. <laughs> I mean, I, I like motherfucking the, cookie jokes. I like the people I work with, you know, but I hate working. Heck yeah, some of them are. You got a couple real snickerdoodles working there. You know what I mean? 
the hell are you whispering about over there? Where'd you just go? I'm just talking he, some business. <laughs> oh my god. He, he he looks like a guy that doesn't like Samoas. <laughs> what is your favorite type of cookie? Um, I'm, the ones I make, I make a uh, triple chocolate chip cookie. Oh hell yeah! God damn, look at you. That is so cool. What do you like to do for fun? Well. Why am I writing down triple chocolate chip for some reason? I, I write down the weirdest things sometimes. Doesn't make sense. Go ahead. Uh, what do you like to do for fun? Well, I've been going to school for 15 years, and right now I'm restoring a... Wow, well, you should be ready to, to be a brain surgeon any day now. <laughs> uh, I want to be a pimp, so I'm taking pimpology. Pimpology. Wow. No, what are you really, uh, what are you really no, studying? Um, right now I'm restoring a 66 Mustang for my wife. It's the second one I've done for her. Fuck yeah, man. The first one I did was a, the last car her dad raised. It's a family heirloom. But for fun, my wife and I, we go to car shows and we like rockabilly music and we dance. Uh, we, we get dressed up in the 50s and, you know, we do, you know, the, you know like that dance scene in the mask, you know, or, or the dance scene in... So... Wow. So how long have you and your wife been dancing to rockabilly music? About 10, 10 years or so. 10 years or so. My goodness. Anybody can do West, uh, West Coast, or how about East Coast Swing? Wow. Is that a song? No, no. It, it's a type of dance. It's pretty. Yeah. Can you, would you mind? I mean, I'm positive that this place would fucking go crazy but to see you do a little it's a part, step. It's a partner dance. It's a what? It's a partner dance. Oh, you got to have a partner? You, Fuck, I ain't doing it by myself. Come on, just give us a little sample of what that looks like. I need a woman. Hey, 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 he, yeah, do it, dude. You won't do it with Jeremiah? Come on, he's he's also feminist Stacy sometimes. Come on, look look at his hair. He looks nobody just like Rhea Perlman. I am, and nobody with a dick. All right. Can we get, is there a woman here that would be willing to dance with this guy? Come on up here, sweetheart. Yes, come on. Yes, you. Hurry up. Come on, you fucking lady. She's just sitting there shocked. She can't believe it. He's like Ellen. He's, Tony, he's also like, and no blacks. <laughs> <laughs> is this going to be okay? Heck yeah. Look at this little sweet pea. Here we go. Uh. <laughs> wow, look at that. Hey. <laughs> wow, you guys have such great chemistry together. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> this is incredible. How about a hand for this sweet, sweet girl? Wow. Yeah, uh, let's check in with Tevin. What if, what if I guaranteed you I can dance better with you than that girl just did? Yeah, you pro but I ain't doing it. Let me lead, you bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's the trouble. I don't want to <laughs> Wow, tonight's the night a security guard got shanked at the uh, Pittsburgh Improv. What's your name, sweetheart? How about a big hand for Kylie, everyone? Come That's on. That's my wife's name. Thanks, what? Kylie. That's my wife's name. Your wife's name is Kylie? Wow. That is, what are the odds There's of that? There's not very many women named Kylie either. No, that's true. It's anyway, Kylie Jenner, this one, your wife. <laughs> not a lot. <gasps> wow. All right, Kylie, you can go back to your seat. There she goes, Kylie, everybody. That's amazing. What are the odds that she has the same name as your wife that you rockabilly dance with? That's fucking crazy. I don't know what the odds are, that's anyway. amazing. That is a big coincidence. That makes <laughs> that's crazy to me. Look at that, Calvin Charles. Uh, you uh, yet again uh, have been up here a long time. We always have trouble getting rid of you, man. You no, no, no. Hey, let somebody else come up. No, yeah, I'm going to. I fucking love your custom made. You made that yourself. It's got a bison, the Kill Tony logo. It says oh, Hinchcliffe. 
Hinchcliffe's Notes 2019. I was worried you'd think I was pandering. But. No, that's so fucking cool, dude. I love your style, man. How about one more? How loud can this place get for Calvin Charles Calhoun, huh? <laughs> Calvin Charles. And you know what? Before you go, Calvin, I'm going to tell you this. Uh... I'm gonna. Uh, I'm. In, I'm going to uh, in Sacramento on one of those Kill Tony manias, and you can sign up for all the other ones or however many you want. But one of them, I'm giving you a minute on that one of those Sacramento shows. So you're gonna be on one of those mania shows, guaranteed. All right. Make sure you tell a manager or something when you get there. Say, hey, there. I'm Calvin Charles Calhoun. Tell Tony that I'm here, and he told me that uh, he'll do something with me, and then go sit down in your seat. Calvin Charles Calhoun, everybody. Yeah. Huh. What do you guys think? Should we go to the bucket one more time? Should we try to get a woman up here? We haven't had a lady all night. All right, let's see what happens here. Okay, so Jacob's not a girl. Tom's not a girl. Jack isn't a girl. Coos. Colin. Wow, oh, Colin's L's look like C's. Corey. Corey's a boy. Is, there, is, is Chuck a girl? Ryan. In Pittsburgh, Chuck could be a girl. You know what I'm saying? I'm Chuck. I don't know why I'm so hard on the uh, females here in Pittsburgh for some reason. Pick a good one. Wow, there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, one word and one word only. Put your hands together for Allison. Wow. Oh. There she oh, is. She's excited. Set back down. That is my oh. friend. Here she comes, everybody. Allison. Hell yeah. Come on, one more time, good and loud for Allison, everybody. Hey, so I'm four foot nine. Yes, I'm a midget. Um,. Let's just talk about, um, I'm the middle child, which, this is syndrome. And I just found out that my sister molested my brother. And it's real sad. It's real sad because my sister's a lesbian, and I'm literally her main dish. And she didn't offer me anything ever growing up. So here I am, a woman, her main dish, and she's never offered to molest me but she molested my brother. I'm confused just as much as you are. Um, I'm also confused because I have a taco on the back of my calf and my dad was racist growing up, but yet the Mexican race was okay. Sorry, Joel. Um, because they were hard workers. But the, sorry, black people. Um, it wasn't okay growing up, but the Mexican people were hard workers. So I'm just as confused as you are about everything about my life. Thank you. Wow, look at you. Oh my goodness. Allison. Yeah, it's me. Wow. Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my crazy meter just went off right now. <laughs> <laughs> you think she's crazy? What, why, what could possibly she's, she's be nuts about this little tattooed covered uh, little fucking <laughs> wild pog? Yeah. Look at you. God damn it. You are exactly what I look for in porn when I'm... Uh, this is, for some reason, I just can't help myself around little tiny fucking thick chicks like you. It's just something so wrong about it. Like, so, like, right? it's like awkward. It's be... like almost midget porn, but without, like, the weird faces. It's, yes, and weird hands. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. So, Allison, welcome to the show. That's your first time doing stand-up? Yes. Congratulations. Thanks. There it is. That's how you. Uh, that's how you pop a cherry. How old are you, Allison? Yes. Uh, forty-nine. Forty-two. Thirty. Thirty. I was just kidding. You're adorable. Yeah, there you thank go. You. Thirty years old. Um, heck yeah. Who'd you come here with tonight? My favorite sister ever. Hi. Wow. Oh she's my god. Wow. Look. The oh molester. God. Damn. Oh, she the one that shit. molested your brother. Wow. Did yeah. she? Did no. No. That's not the one. I have an older sister. Did, she molested my brother. Did. Oh my no, god. She's not Did she write a minute too? Did she sign up? No, no, oh, just that's me. That's a goddamn shame. Yeah, right? <laughs> she's the hotter one. She's the hotter one. Oh, she is? Yeah. Oh, I can't even tell. I'm just looking <laughs> out in the dark and she just seems uh Four foot ten. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
Nine, ten. Okay, nine. relax. You sit the fuck down, lady. Yeah! Hell yeah. Um, wow. So what do you do for work, Allison? Oh, I'm a background investigator. A background wow. investigator? Yeah. Is that true? That's real true. So like, wow. I How think do you, you mean proctologist. <laughs> <laughs> for you? Oh, backside investigator. Investigate their yeah. backgrounds. Forget it. Yeah. How long have you been doing be that for? Uh, two years. Two years. So mm-hmm. you do like internet research on people? It's a lot of it's behind computers or do you do some like intel too? You park your car across the... No. No, all computer. It's all, all computer. from home. I sit with my two dogs. I work from home. So is it like for people that like applying for jobs or like private investigators? Um, like people applying for jobs. Right. I read their rap sheets, so I see what you all get arrested for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How yeah, about you? Great. Have you ever been arrested? Any... Yeah, one time. What What happened there? Um. Well, I got arrested for an underage, and my dad's a city firefighter, and a city cop arrested me. Underage? What? You what, fucked what, an underage yeah, kid? Yeah. yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, I mean, calm down. Not. I, was gonna... I wasn't molesting people. There you I go. was Brian. just drinking. Two beers, and my dad's friend arrested me. Wow, to teach you a lesson. He goes, "What are your What's your dad gonna say?" And I'm like, "He's probably gonna be pretty pissed you woke him up." Yeah, because it was like two, you know, two thirty in the morning. Right, it's fine. Wow, did you yeah. learn a lesson that night? No, I drank the, like the next day. So, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, my Jesus. mom's an alcoholic. It's cool. Okay, relax, relax, yeah. relax. This is this is a very common theme here in Pittsburgh. Uh, <laughs> right. You're literally right. the ninth comedian up here with yeah. an alcoholic mom here yeah. tonight. We all got alcoholic moms. We're not surprised. What does yeah. your uh, What does your dad do? He's a firefighter. Oh, that's so cool. He's retired. How about now, you? How about your boyfriend? You have a boyfriend? I do have a boyfriend. Yeah. What does he do? He's an electrician. He's an electrician. Does your sister have a boyfriend? I don't think so. Well, oh, let's get a, a new minute from. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, no, you don't want to know her. Why? What's wrong with your She's sister? She's crazy. Really? Yeah. What's crazy about her? <laughs> Wow. Yeah. What what's crazy about her? Now's your chance to tell the world. Everything. Yeah, like what? Give us she's one thing. A, she's the single me. The single you. Yeah. What does that mean? It's just wild. In what way? Everything. Really? Yeah. Okay. Welcome Great. back to yeah. vague answers. <laughs> What'd you say? I said welcome back to vague answers. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. What's the wildest thing you've ever done? Come on, just be honest with us. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, you know, the place know. will go crazy like, if you give us something good. I don't know. He's not, my boyfriend's not going to like, but I put his finger in his butt. You put his finger in his butt? My finger in his whoa, whoa, butt. Whoa, whoa, don't sorry, touch sorry, me sorry, with that sorry, ass sorry. hand. Yeah. My finger in his butt. My but God. Yeah, that was about it. Corn all over. That's, that's so weird it. how you said it, though. You originally yeah. said that you put his finger in his butt, which I is, we that's really hard to do. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine how small of a guy he must be for you to manhandle him. Like, get your fucking finger in your ass, you idiot. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah, that's about it. Wow. What does he do? Electrician. He's an electrician. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. He puts it in your little fucking socket. Yeah. How did you find out that your sister molested your brother? Like, it was this... <laughs> Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Uh-oh. So my brother went to jail Uh huh. for violating his PFA. What's a PFA? Oh, like a um, domestic violence. Oh yes, okay. Sorry, basically. I don't speak Pittsburghian. Okay. I don't know what that. I don't know what that is. I have to. So sometimes. he was banned from his wife, and then he got arrested for violating his ban. Banned from, his, from wife, his wife. Basically, <laughs> and then he got out of jail and threatened my older sister uh-huh. that he he basically was like, "You're the reason I'm in jail." My sister's like, "No, I'm not. I'm not your wife." And then my brother was like. Yeah, well, you molested me whenever I was little. My sister's like, I don't think I did that. And then I got jealous. Wow. Wow. Holy shit. I want to go to Thanksgiving at your house. Right? My God. This place sounds like fucking chaos, man. It's good. You think maybe you got molested and you just don't remember it? No, I wish I remembered it. Wow. Wow. So interesting. I can't believe I can't believe your dad's a firefighter and clearly his daughters spend more time on a pole than he does. Yeah, that doesn't really make sense. I mean, maybe your other. What is your other? What does your sister out there do for work? Uh, she could. She's a waitress, but. Oh, you barely had an answer. You should investigate her background and. I uh, should. Know more about your I family. I think she hinted at she was a stripper. Yeah. You look like your favorite drink is Beetlejuice. How did you know? <laughs> no. It's actually. I'm terrified right now. Bring back the con. <laughs> what? what was that? What's going on over there, Joel? Why would her favorite drink be Beetlejuice? She looks like a witch. 
Oh, what? Wow. I guess oh. so. He's Jesus. not wrong. He's no, not it's wrong. okay. You insulted his culture at one point. Uh, yeah, my dad, well, my dad thought he was a Mexican for like 10 what, years of my minute. life. Who? You thought who was a Mexican? My dad thought, thought he, he was, was a Mexican? Mexican. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Well, he drove around with a Mexican plate on his truck for the longest time. And this is wow. where, like, dumb Dego comes from. Normally, they don't fight fires. They fight people that aren't fans of the Raiders. Right. So he drove around with a Mexican flag on the front of his truck when really it was supposed to be an Italian flag. <laughs> and finally, I mentioned it to him whenever I was, like, you know, Spanish year two. And I was right. like, you know, that's like a Mexican flag, right? And he got confused. So here the I fuck? am with a taco. Because wow. I'm confused about my race, so. Wow. Fine. You are a fucking cute little dumb girl, aren't you? Thanks. Yeah, I am. I, I really like am. Your, I like your style, Allison. Thank you. Um, all right. Well, you had your first time ever on stage. Anything else crazy about your life that you think we'd find interesting? I mean, mm. we've already covered a lot of bases about you. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's probably basically it. I love horror. So. I love it. Well, yeah. I, 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 would, I made a joke that I would have made right then earlier. But, uh, <laughs> man, what's your favorite, uh, like, horror movie? Monster movie. Monster movie. Michael Myers. Oh, and oh, I see. Frankenstein. Oh, you were asking me. Yeah. How, how about just movie, not monster? Oh, Halloween number one, 1979. Wow, you're old school. Did yeah, you like that school. most recent Halloween? I did. I did, too. Except Some for people... the ending. It was too, like, women forward. Too much feminists in it. Push them back, right? It pushes those women much, back. Too much. Too much. Let the guy win. I agree. Yeah. Let yeah. Michael win. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, thank you so much, Allison. You were awesome. You represented the ladies well here tonight. Congratulations on our first time ever on stage, everybody. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, I don't know if you guys know this, but it is time to watch a skateboarding trick. Where is... Where's Dylan? Oh, my God. Here comes Dylan Lines, everybody. I have no idea what's about to happen. Uh, we really don't have any room on this stage for a skateboard or a skateboard trick. I highly recommend that the uh, four people extremely in the front row basically just sort of, like, cover up your face like that just to make sure you don't end up looking like, uh, like uh, Jacob Dempsey by the end of uh, or whichever one had the half face. All right, what are you about to try here, young uh, Dylan? He's going to try a kickflip. I don't know what that takes, but please don't fuck it up and don't hurt yourself. Please, for the love of fucking God, don't hurt yourself. He's had a few drinks. Okay, it's, what, I don't want to... Hey! Huh. Oh, my God. We're about to watch a man kill himself live on stage. Pittsburgh Improv. Whoa! You did it! Kill Tony Pittsburgh! We fucking did it! Oh shit, what's this? Whoa! <laughs> wow! What a fun episode! Pittsburgh. Whoa! Here we go. This guy has broken his wrist doing a trick before. Whoa! <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! You fell off the skateboard, dude. <laughs> there you go. There he goes. All right. Even though Ryan J. E. Belt couldn't make it tonight, he did send along a bunch of cool uh, Philly-Pittsburgh uh, hybrid artwork. Uh, if you guys want a poster, we're going to be signing them, taking pictures with you if you'd like. We're going to have a fast-moving meet-and-greet out in the lobby area if you'd like. Uh, there's also the new Reagan and Watkins album available for sale over there. There's also band posters. And, uh, and uh, Death Squad pins. And there's also Kill Tony pins. And there's also a Tony Hinchcliffe pin uh, that has draw my face on it. And if you want, I'll draw a mustache on with a Sharpie marker. I'll leave a little space in the middle. Make it authentic for you. Pins are 10 bucks. Uh, albums and posters are 20 How about one more time, good and loud, for the one and only Jeremiah Watkins. 
New episodes of Jeremiah Wonders always out. Jeremiah Watkins on YouTube. Jeremiah stand up on social media. Did you have fun here tonight, Jeremiah? I had a, I had a, I had a blast. Uh, we love you, Pittsburgh. How about this? It's somebody's first time ever in Pittsburgh. Let him know you love him. Jolbert Joel Jimenez. Wow. He's on social media mostly. Sorry. He's a fucking monster. Anything else, Joel? I love you guys. Thanks for coming. There out. you go. Red Band. We did it again. Thanks a lot, guys. Pittsburgh, we love you. Good night. <laughs>